Deja vu is a rare occurrence, but you know it when you feel it. As you walk through a new city for the first time, something familiar clicks in your mind, giving you pause. You've definitely been here before, but you haven't. So what's going on here? Well, no one really knows for sure. The origin of deja vu, French for already seen, a sense of familiarity with something entirely new remains hidden somewhere deep in our brains. The phenomenon is difficult to study. Most people, when they experience deja vu, aren't hooked up to a bunch of electrodes with clipboard-toting researchers at the ready. However, scientists have pondered the question for quite some time. A description of deja vu experience in patients with epilepsy appears as early as 1888. The observation was no coincidence. Those with some type of epilepsy seem to feel deja vu more often than those without the neurological disorder. Research on such patients showed that their feelings of deja vu were likely linked to seizure activity in the medial temporal lobe, the part of the brain associated with sensory perception, speech production, and memory association. During a seizure, Neurons misfire, sending mixed up messages to different parts of the body. For these patients, deja vu is a result of getting their wires crossed. When some patients undergo brain surgery to stop the seizures, they wake up to a world free of the phenomenon. Some scientists posit that similar neural misfirings also causes healthy, seizure-free brains to experience a sense of familiarity when there's no reason to. A second hypothesis involves another brain error. This time, the problem is with our memory. Something about a new situation or setting activates a memory of a similar past experience, but our brains fail to recall it. Imagine you're visiting Paris for the first time, and you have arrived at the Louvre. Your gaze lands on a giant glass pyramid jutting out of the museum's main courtyard, and you get that strange feeling. At that moment, your brain is failing to retrieve a memory that could explain it away. A few months ago, you watched The Da Vinci Code, a film that provides an up-close look at the Louvre Pyramid. In the absence of recalling that specific experience, you're left only with the feeling of familiarity with the current situation. Yet another possible explanation for deja vu dates back to 1928, when psychologist Edward Titchener described the sensation using the example of crossing a street. As we begin to cross a street, we instinctively look to the left. But if something catches our attention to our right, we turn in that direction. By the time we look to our left again, our brains may have forgotten the first glance. The second glance triggers a feeling of familiarity because in this case, we really have seen something before. In many cases, people who experience deja vu can't pinpoint why it's happening. But for what it's worth, our brains are trying to tell us. Tip of the tongue experiences work in much the same way. For instance, we know that we know the name of that actor in that one movie, but we can't pull it to the front of our minds. When retrieval does fail, our memories still have a way of altering us to the fact that there's something relevant in there. So, have you been here before? Thanks for watching. Subscribe and leave comments with ideas for the next videos.